Hey everybody, today we're going to be going through the hot map of cause and effect. This hot map is used to explain the causes or consequences of an event uh, or of a thing uh, and we'll go through it bit by bit and explain how it works. This hot map looks like this. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, now we have our hot map drawn up. Uh, we're going to go through, we're going to use an example. Um, now in, in the middle here, so we put in our content. So we can put absolutely anything that we want. Okay, so we could put in a picture. Okay, it could be um, a, a word, it could be an article. Okay, it could be any sort of topic, it could be any sort of content. One really uh, useful one, I've used it for um, in PE, is for role models. So we'll put role models in the middle here and we'll discuss how their behavior um, in how that affects uh, other things that go on. So, yeah, and what causes that behavior and then the effects of that behavior. So today in particular, we're gonna be looking at the concept of overload. So we're gonna be over here writing down um, the causes of overload and then the effects of overload on this side, okay? So why do we overload? Okay, usually there are three um, or four reasons why we why we overload. Okay, and the first one that we're going to write down is because we decrease our rest. Okay, and the next one um, in the gym when we are going to reach overload is that we increase our uh, weight or resistance. Okay, and another thing we do to reach overload is to increase our reps. Okay, so one of the possible effects of um, uh, reaching overload, decreasing rest, increasing weight, or increasing reps is hypertrophy. Okay, another one is that we increase our muscular endurance. And another uh, effect is that we increase our strength. Cool. So, now we're going to go through and explain the because. You know, why does this happen? So, why do we decrease our rest? Um, and the whole reason is to get around the whole ATP thing. So our ATP PC doesn't have time to recover. Okay, when we um, increase our reps, um, then we are putting more strain on the muscles um, and we've got lactic acid build up. Okay, and when we are increasing our weight, we're putting more stress um, on our central nervous system. Okay, so why does hypertrophy occur? occur sorry, um, and that is because of sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. Okay, why does muscular endurance occur and increase the muscular endurance? Um, this is because of high reps. Okay, and muscular strength occurs because again of that central nervous system. So now we've filled out our hot map, um, we need to come up with an overall generalization and then use this topic or these, this content to back it up. Okay, so something I might say is that um, if in order for me to get any gains, um, any positive um, things out of my training, then I need to reach overload uh, because um, I need to decrease my rest um, in order to reach hypertrophy um, or I need to increase my reps um, in order to reach muscular endurance or I need to increase my weight in order to increase my strength um, because the central nervous system needs to adapt okay because I need to uh, increase my reps and decrease my rest so that I can again reach that overload okay so we'll get that down or something along those lines down in our generalization So my example there, so I require overload in order to improve because my body will not adapt unless put under stress such as the central nervous system for strength. Okay, so hopefully that example has helped you to uh, understand the cause and effect hot map. Um, it's uh, a really useful hot map, I find it's one of my favourites, I use it uh, more often than probably any other one, uh, as well as the compare and contrast map. Um, the key then is, you know, once you, you start off in the middle here uh, and, and you are initially, you know, it might be in unistructural phase, as you start writing down a couple ideas we get into multi-structural, as we start connecting these ideas together we get into relational, okay, and then once we can come up with this whole 
broad term. Um, at the end, the generalization, okay, that's when we start getting into extended abstract stuff. Okay, so yeah, it's a really useful map. I definitely recommend you use it. Uh, and yeah, get your students to use it too. Thanks.